Let's check out the tropics. We've got the 2 o'clock update on Tropical Storm Jerry. Bottom line is, Hurricane Hunters have been flying into this. In fact, I'll show you, they've got missions into this. They had one mission into the plane earlier. Let me show you the mission that's in the plane right now. They are also tracking winds. They've seen a wind speed so far of 53 miles per hour. They found that even though Jerry is battling a wind shear today on its northern side, the winds on this storm did come up a little bit. So those winds right now are set at 60 miles per hour. They need to go up to 74 or really 75 miles per hour for it to be a hurricane. So that is still yet to come. It's currently just a tropical storm. Tropical storm watches in effect for the northern leeward islands. Jerry is not a very large storm in nature. It's wind uh, kind of field is not very large in nature, but some of the outermost effects of Jerry, the waves, the surf, some of those tropical storm force gusts are going to be possible in the northern leeward islands. So there are some tropical storm watches in effect for those areas, not the Virgin Islands, though, as of right now. So gradually getting a little bit stronger through today and tomorrow and then by Thursday night or Friday morning becoming a hurricane. And the reason why we're not seeing it become a hurricane as soon is because we're dealing with the wind shear. And that's something that the models didn't all pick up on yesterday. I'll just go back and show you that this is going to curve east of Bermuda, so we do not expect any direct impacts here in the United States. When we see really strong and large hurricanes out in the middle of the Atlantic near Bermuda, we can see rip current threats that increase. But I think for the east coast this weekend, the bigger threat is going to come from a different coastal storm that's developing off the coast of the Carolinas. So not probably from Jerry, but still rip current threat could be enhanced. In the tropics, we're also tracking this area of thunderstorms producing really heavy rainfall over the Bay of Campeche right now. That's going to move west into Mexico. It probably will not develop into a tropical system at this point, but certainly has a lot of heavy rain with it, and that heavy rain could lead to flooding. So we'll be watching that.